Who the heck is Ralph Wiggum? It's all everyone is talking about. I was on vacation for the last two weeks, enjoying the beautiful Ethiopia. The sun, the food, the people, family. It was a great time. But the last week and a half, all everyone is talking about is Ralph. And I thought Ralph was a character from Simpsons. But really, what it is, is it's a robust way to let AI autonomously build applications. And in this video, not only am I going to show you how it works, but I'm also going to show you my setup. 2026 is going to be a fun year. Sit back, relax, let's get into it. So when building an application with AI, we've sort of been following this flow this last, I would say, year and some change, where we have an idea and we're going to break down that that idea into a list of features, right? And it's in such a way that each feature when it's complete is going to be some sort of finished product. Now, a smart way of going about this when building with AI is to have some sort of feedback loop for the AI to recognize whether a feature is complete or not. And that's where we included tests, right? So I'll build feature one, and then I'll ask the AI to build test one. And if test one passes, we move on to feature two, and then test two passes feature three. And at some point, we'll reach a finished product but here's the thing this setup has a lot of human involvement and although for most people this is better than writing code by hand um, there should be a better way a more autonomous way a way for AI to continuously run through and build said application and that's where Ralph comes in the question that Ralph solves is what if instead of manually prompting each feature AI can continuously build out the features until it's done so when someone asks you what Ralph is, Ralph is essentially a technique for running AI coding agents in a loop. Now, Anthropic has a plugin that you'd use, which is their official Ralph plugin. And the way you would set it up is slash plugins, and then you can search for Ralph. I already have it installed, so you can see it here, the Ralph plugin installed. You can use the Ralph plugin that's set up in Claude Code, but to be honest with you, it's actually not the best iteration. The actual developer who came up with the concept of Ralph Wiggum is not pro the way Claude Code has the plugin set up. But how does Ralph work? It's as simple as this. You're going to need a prd.md, and then you're going to need a progress.txt file. These two files are quintessential. What's going to happen then is we're going to be running whether it be Claude or open code or whatever agent in a loop and in each loop what the agent is going to do is it's going to review the prd.md file it's going to review what features it has to build it's going to build those features and then it's going to document the work it's done in the progress.txt file and then it's going to continue that loop again and again and again until the prd.md file is complete until all the features are fully built up so step by step how do we run Ralph? We create a plan and save it as prd.md. I'm going to show you an example. We're going to create a progress.txt file. And I want you to realize this. The prd defines the end state. The progress file tracks what's done. Claude reads both on each loop iteration, finds the next unchecked item, implements it, and updates the progress. We're going to create a simple ralph.sh script. I'm going to show you the one I have working right now. I'm continuing to iterate this. And another thing I would highly suggest is you customize it to your liking. So I used Claude Code's plan mode to build this prd.md. And essentially what I wanted to build was an Apple reminder style to do app. And as you can see, it has an overview, the features, but really the most important part was the implementation steps. It created four or five phases, sorry, each in a to-do list style. And then I created a progress.txt file, and this originally was empty. But then I ran my Ralph loop, and the agent essentially, after every checkpoint, after every single to-do list item was fulfilled, it would document all the changes, all the code it made. The progress.txt file is exactly that, the progress checkpoint where the agent can check where it left off. So let's say you end the loop and you rerun the loop, then the agent knows exactly what the last thing it is it worked on and it can continue off that versus having to rebuild everything again. Here is my Ralph script. And here's the thing, I used AI to write this. I did not write this by hand. I worked with Claude Code to make sure it's exactly to my liking. Now, here's how my setup works. I basically call ralph.sh, 
and then I have a couple flags. If I just run it as it is, there's a couple things that are going to go on in the background. After every feature, the Claude agent is going to write tests. It's going to run the test and check that the test pass. And then it's going to run the linter, um, the benefits of TypeScript, type safety comes in clutch. And then once those things pass, then it moves on to the next step. But if I want to, it to just continue to build features, not test, not lint, I can then do ralph.sh slash fast and this essentially makes it so there's no tests and no linting and now i told you um i built an application using this the application's done you can see when running the ralph loop it says looking at the prd i can see all the tasks are marked complete with x let me verify by checking each phase it checks each phase and then it says the tasks are complete and you can see that it, it also does like a calculation of how much my Ralph loop costs me in this case, because it barely did anything. It costs a fraction of a penny, which is fantastic. And all I had to do in order to run this Ralph loop is again, I, I will have this linked in the description down below. I had my Ralph.sh file in the code base I was working on. I used plan mode to create a prd.md and then I created a progress.txt file. The culmination of all those things allows us to have the Ralph Wiggum setup where we can have agents autonomously building applications. Now, where are the shortcomings? The one thing I've started to realize after running Ralph a couple of times is your plan matters a lot. How detailed, how precise, and how particular you are in your plan will dictate the level of quality that the agent gives out. We're finally reaching a time where the models are really good at writing code, but the tools surrounding the models, which is in our control, really determine whether the software is valuable and cool versus some AI slot trash. So the plan matters, the direction matters, the taste matters. And truth be told, I'm pretty impressed that in one shot, it basically built, again, this is a simple to-do list app, so it's nothing crazy, nothing fancy, but again, I didn't interrupt, I didn't give it suggestions, I created that plan, I ran the Ralph command, and all this was built, and it feels pretty nice, it feels pretty instant. I have a lot of thoughts, I have a lot of strategies, I have a lot of ideas that I'm going to share. This is my first video coming back from vacation, so make sure you're subscribed if you aren't subscribed, because 2026 is going to be a big year for us. We're going to cover a lot of topics, we're going to build a lot of projects, and God willing, we're going to make some money to take care of our family. I've been Ross, you've been awesome. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!